Welcome to Message from God with Carolina. I have a very deep word today. I pray that God can guide me through this um, because I just received revelation. I'm just going to get straight into it. God has been showing me that just because we don't see the manifestations of His work as often as we'd like, um, it does not mean that He's that he's not in motion and I know we hear that all the time and I know that we all have to have faith but it gets a little bit deeper than that so he was showing me that his silence has equal value to his visible movement um, and in fact he further led me to uh, realize that when we do seek the work of the Lord in our in our lives for blessings for for miracles for things that will definitely help us to get out of some situations um, we are social creatures and we are reactive creatures and so when we see something happen we give ourselves permission to react to that thing or to socialize with that with that um, person so whatever the situation is we usually feel like we need to see an object or see an occurrence in order to identify it and God is showing me that when we do not see his work when we do not see everything that he's actually doing in the spirit he is filling up the spiritual realm with his presence and this is a bizarre statement but this was the revelation that really got me out of my seat and that is um Believe it or not, when He does a miracle in our lives, when He gives us the blessings, whenever we wake up and open the mailbox and there's a check in the mail that we were not expecting, um, that is a risk that God is taking because we limit God to that one event. So He wanted to show whoever's watching today that His silence has, it has as much weight as His movement. Um, and it is so purposeful, it is so intentional that he just wants us to know that sitting and waiting on the Lord is, is something that is not in vain, it's something that um, is not a waste of time, it's something purposeful in the eyes of the Lord. So he wants us to find that within us, that uh, ability to see past what the eye wants to see to see past what the flesh wants to see and to and that gratification that relief that release um because what's going on in the spirit is so much more um i don't know how to describe it but it has it has a lot of depth and value that we're just not seeing and so i can understand even slightly I don't want to say I'm, I'm at the top of the level of, of faith right now but I can see why Jesus would be frustrated when his disciples would not believe until they saw things happen um, or they would feel or, or they would be a little doubtful and so he's he's uh, referencing right now in my spirit um, when they were on a boat and the waters were very violent and he was sleeping and they were afraid and and with his um, with his instruction the water calmed down so let's just take a moment he's, he's taking me in that direction let's take a moment and just contemplate the fact that Jesus was sleeping when the waters were violent but his sleep was not in vain his rest was not in vain you see even in in the creation of the earth God took rest and that was purposeful there was a purpose for that and so we, we cannot look at rest the way that we see things on the superficial level okay we can't see nothing as nothing it's actually not nothing it is something that is purposeful for the next step so if you're feeling like you don't have a purpose in this moment in this phase in your life right now whatever is going on um, okay he doesn't want me to encourage okay I'm going I'm going with the Holy Spirit He's trying to show us that these moments of nothingness are actual big steps in the spirit that God is working. And that's why a lot of people say that when, um, when we least see or feel 
God, that's when he's mostly or closest with us. That is that exact um, verification of, of that line because the Lord wanted me to share this word with joy in my heart and I didn't understand why because I feel, you know, personally I'm in awe. He's filling the space, filling up time with his presence, his mercy, allowing us years and years and years to get it right within us that we are children of God. He is giving us so much mercy. He is putting us in situations that we don't even realize are good for us, not because they feel good, um, especially situations that are difficult, but because, oh my gosh, um, it's not even about um, training us for, or for anything. He, he's, he's just showing me that we don't understand the hand behind what is going on in our lives. We don't understand just how much he is protecting us from. We don't understand just how much he has planned for us. It's not about winning and gaining and, and um, expansion and, and abundance in this specific word right now. Because we do see those moments as, of course, that's an amazing thing, it's an amazing blessing. But God is just telling me the focus is right now on His work, um, not not on the fact that we're. He doesn't want me to talk about how we receive it, okay? Because that is where this disconnect is. He's showing me right now. Thank you, Jesus. That on the other side of the spirit world, on the other side, be far beyond what we can understand far beyond what we have seen, far beyond what we can even desire, is the will and purpose of God. Our Lord, our Creator, the Alpha and the Omega, the I Am that I Am, that is so... We don't even scratch the surface when we try to understand. And um, He has mercy on our logic he has mercy on our uh on, on the battles that go on within our minds he has mercy over all of that and he doesn't seek to impose just how great he is over us but everything that he does is with love and so there's protection in our not being able to understand everything because he is just so great and when I, when I say great, I mean he is, not physically, but he is large, he is, he is grand, um, he is boundless, he is infinite. So he wanted me to focus us in this moment that when we do contemplate on the power of Christ, when we contemplate on the power that is within him, wow, he's even showing me there, there is a part in this scripture that when I know um, that Jesus was speaking about not being able to be with us for longer um, on, on this earth. And I just received, for lack of a better term, I'm going to say it this way, it's good that he was not here longer than he was. It was for our own good and it was just good in the eyes of God. Those three years that the disciples had to walk with, with Jesus and for him to complete everything that he had to do. Um, it says in the Bible, he said that, and I'm, I'm just paraphrasing, he said that he came to finish the work of him who has sent him, sent him. It took him three years to do something in our time. And look how long ago that was. Look at how much grace God has given us to get it right. This is not from me, but he is, he is really um, just letting you know right now through me that we don't have a lot of time. And yet here we are. We don't have a lot of time, yet here we are. Um, yet look at the opportunity, yet look at the sun rising. He wants us to look at him right now, not in the eyes of what can I get, what can I receive from you, Father, but 
I didn't know. I didn't know. And these are the type of things that make us bow down. These are the type of things that make us kneel because that's when we realize and we start to respect the spirit of Jesus. That's when we realize and we start to respect the grandiosity that is within him, the power, the authority, the love. Um, he's sharing this all with you tonight because he, he believes in you. He believes that you can do this. He believes that you can walk just as others have, the very few that have walked with him in his time on this earth. He believes that you can do it. So if you do not see him, if you do not hear him, know that it is good. It is still good. Know that he is here. And know that that just means he is not limited to an occurrence. He is not limited to a moment. He is not limited to your blessing. Wow. So I just want to take a moment of gratitude. I, I'm taking a moment of gratitude to just really feel connected with Jesus right now that's all he wants that's all he wants is that connection that bond that embrace that intimacy because we're um, we are at a pivotal shift spiritually and I, I can't speak more on that right now wow I just pray that this blesses anyone who's watching so thank you